Recently, we showed you how a pioneering North Bay grocery store is using artificial intelligence to catch shoplifters, but that's not the only local tech aimed at stopping non-stop stealing. Yeah, a Bay Area innovation is poised to change the look of stores everywhere. Tonight, consumer investigator Chris Kimura shows us how a new technology solution might simultaneously scare off thieves and welcome back shoppers like you. Because this is still happening lots. Lots of stores now lock up lots of merchandise. You have to ask for someone to open the case just for toothpaste. I said, you're kidding me. That really has to be an indicator of something is wrong here. Veteran loss prevention expert David Johnston studies theft trends for the National Retail Federation. Retailers don't want to lock up the merchandise. They know that it is an inconvenience for the shoppers. These barriers in stores make it tougher to steal and shop. Customer service needed in aisle 18. What's happening today isn't solving the problem. Like a lot of us, David Ashforth wanted to buy an item at a drugstore that was locked up. I had to find someone with a key, and it was at that moment really when the light bulb went off. David is no ordinary shopper. Here in Sebastopol, he heads a company called Digital Media Vending International. Its machines are everywhere, in places like hotels and airports, stocked with electronics or toiletries that maybe you forgot to pack. So when this vending machine guru went to the store and encountered merchandise that a worker had to unlock, he saw an opportunity to redesign stores. And I thought, huh, my machine could fit like right here and then I wouldn't have to find a manager with a key anymore. David's company is inventing new shelving for stores. This one we're just setting up to test. Basically a huge modular vending machine that can replace an entire aisle. In this case, we've got seven modules, which makes it about 26 and a half foot wide. David's team calls this an automated retailer. Merchandise is stocked safely behind glass to stop thieves. At the same time, honest shoppers get self-service access that's faster than waiting for a manager. The machine will deliver their products to them in real time instantly. David showed us how it works. So this robot is specifically designed for wine and champagne bottles. You pay in advance online or at an in-store kiosk. It prints you a receipt or it gives you a pickup code. Punch it in. Then a robot activates. Within 15 seconds or so, it fetches your item and delivers your merchandise. No waiting, no stealing. And yes, because today's most brazen thieves smash and grab, David told me some clients are curious about customizing machines with essentially bulletproof glass. I asked David what message he's sending would-be thieves. What's the message? I mean, I think, you know, it's over. It's That's over. Is that simple? Yeah, it's, it's yeah. over, yeah. These modular machines can cost tens of thousands of dollars each, but stores are losing even bigger money to theft. The National Retail Federation's newest data shows stores' losses jumped from $94 billion in 2021 to $112 billion in 2022. The Federation surveyed 177 brands. More than half say they're now boosting security budgets. You know, retailers are asking for the help. They're looking for new and innovative ideas, and they're looking at technology to help prevent the theft. DMV, I can't share names, but it did tell me there are stores you and I both know that are very interested in buying those machines, perhaps nationally. There's about 44 that we're speaking with right now, uh, which is a lot of conversations. Other companies make vending machines too, but David says his team's the only one targeting theft large scale. So will the store of tomorrow put everything behind glass? And will stores have to limit your choices? David doesn't think so. He estimates just 10% of items make up 80% of what crooks steal. That 10% will be stocked on robotic shelves. The rest will stay on traditional aisles. In a big retail store, you know, you maybe have 50 aisles. Maybe between one and five of those will be automated. <laughs> Inside his warehouse, David showed me a prototype wrapped up and ready to ship. It'll land for beta testing at a large chain store with hundreds of locations. This particular retailer wants to move very quickly and make a decision to solve that problem. How quickly will stores change? 
David expects just a few months until you see self-service shelves stopping thieves and serving shoppers like you. This technology is coming to stores uh, near you. In Sebastopol, Chris Camorra, NBC Bay Area News.